and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Abzan Hero. We're updating this deck that we played right away in this uh, Throne of Eldraine format and had some good success with. It was a lot of fun to play. I know I saw a lot of y'all playing it as well. Um, so I, I'm changing just a couple of things, you know, like it, we're updating. You know, it's been uh, almost a week since we played it last time. Um, and we're going to kind of run it back. So I'm trying, I'm taking out the Faeborough Elders to get an extra Knight of Autumn and extra Kethys in there instead. I think that um, actually untapping with Faeborough Elder doesn't happen too often. Um, and we'll have these cards instead. The Kethys in particular has been pretty um, pretty impressive, making Tristani, Tulsimer, and the six mana cards cost less. And, and also just having like a 3-4 body, you know, makes them cost less, but you don't have to like tap it to add mana. Uh, for example there i'm going to try two trophy instead of two to spark we're going to have two trophy in the main and one to spark because of field of the dead being bigger we want to have trophies for those and trophy can just you know kill anything and i'm also adding a 25th land instead of the third once upon a time because i do want to like you know make sure we hit land drops um even though once upon a time can find land i just want i want uh, one of those to be another land and then i'm also kind of changing up the mana base a little bit i took out the the green white gain life lands and added in um, an extra basic with the forest and a fable passage as well our other extra land was a castle but um you know so we'll have so our mana won't come into play tapped all the time we will not having that tap those uh gain life lands so we'll see how that goes for us sideboard got to get ashiox in these days um, you know, with Field of the Dead and all of their library searching, got to get those in there. Uh, so we got those and that's it. So here we go. Abs and Hero. Abs and here we go. We're going to go and play in ranked and see if we can rank up. We're getting pretty close to getting to, um, Diamond. We're getting pretty close there. The Esper stacks didn't help us out too much. But we're getting pretty close. Oh, are you kidding me? I just joined with the wrong deck? Ugh. Good game. <laughs> uh, I was just talking and, you know, kind of looked at... I was really, like, looking at chat and yeah i guess i just chose the wrong deck uh this is now my it was already like my least favorite deck and now i really don't like this deck abzan hero <laughs> uh yeah helping out our rank downstream instead of rank up stream Okay, retry. Hmm. So four, four, five, 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 and two lands. We're on the draw. So it's either do I just draw? So we have we have twenty three other lands in the deck and two once upon a time. So it's so we have like twenty five other lands in the deck. We had to have two of our three draws be land. I mean, this is not a good hand. If this was seven, I would be mulliganing. The only reason why we're thinking about keeping is because this is already six and going to five is rough. But if this was seven. If this is seven. I would definitely mulligan. Can we, like, you know, steal the game? If we do draw two out of three lands, can we win? Chance. I'll probably get rid of the Doom Whisperer here with having Tulsimer, Tristani gain life. Soren gains. Soren can kind of help us come back and everything here. Going to go ahead and... Oh, maybe we just keep... You'd rather five than this, this hand? No, yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't write articles anywhere. Yep. 
just here and then just you know like the YouTube channel, which is the stream. Also. Okay, so Soren. No, I'm gonna get rid of Once Upon a Time and Garrick. Cool, thanks, Sapphire. It's tough keeping that when we can't cast it, but it's a really good card. So I like the Soren Doom Whisperer combo. You know, like we play Soren on four, tick up. We play Doom Whisperer on five. We get to minus and put something into play. Now that, of course, needs Soren to stay alive. Ugh. For that to happen. Yeah, I pitched once upon a time. Because I already, like, so I could have kept it for a fourth land. So I could have just kept four lands. Um, but I already had, like, a creature that I wanted with, like, Doom, you know, like a good creature with Doom Whisperer. I don't think it really matters that that do like once upon a time was basically a land so sure it was it cost zero mana it was free but even if it was a creature like am i getting a better creature than doom whisperer i don't know yeah so it was probably it was basically like keeping the fourth land if i would have kept once upon a time So it was pretty nice of my opponent to discard the Doom Whisperer because now we can just get it back. I wish you all short lives. Rude. Not yet, though. We can use our other sword to get it back. I'd like to draw a land and be able to double spell here. All right, here we go. I should probably wait on Legion's End, honestly. I know I'm not going any farther into the deck, but they got the two Field of the Deads. They're going to be getting more. They're going to be playing more lands, especially with that castle. And I'm glad we waited. We would have got three two twos, but now there's another six out there right now.
fucks this. <laughs> I hunt bigger game. I should have done that first. You're not fit to survive. And then they they all have life link, of course, because of Soren. All right, Citadel. There we go. Citadel doing its thing. That was pretty awesome. Game didn't necessarily look so good for us for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Soren with Citadel. That's that's a combo. Getting getting all your life. Um Let's get this other Noxious Grasp, other Legion's End. Probably want the Kaya's Wrath in here as well. We can take out the Knight of Autumns. Uh, I guess we want all of the Disparks. Yeah, Disparks just going to be better than Noxious Grasp. We'll trim an Othakaya. We're going to trim Golgari Queen. Maybe take out Golgari Queen. Basically kills Risen Reef, and that's about it. We have other ways to kill Risen Reef. But Golgari Queen does... You know, help reset Citadel as well. So Noxious Grass and Veil of Summer are definitely playable. Um, let's play these two Veil of Summers and not play Once Upon a Times. Okay, Mold of Five ended up working. As far as I know, we have the third Legion's End in there. If I remember correctly. Oh man, if they have Legion Zen, this would be really bad. Yeah, if they have Legion Zen, this would be really bad. Please no Legion Zen. Please no Legion Zen. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the ribbon that's on Citadel is, is for. Like, um, maybe just saying that like this card has an activated ability. That could be it. It's always so rough when they can play the five drop here. Wanted to play the other hero first before Mortify. Yeah, I guess I'm still going to do that. But, you know, obviously if there's a Yurok or a Cavalier of Thorns, it's bad for me. Yay. Not your rock.
<clears throat> of course, saving the Fable Passage for Citadel, especially now that we have a green source. Um... So no Cavalier or Thorn Trigger. Beanstalk Giant. A couple Assassin's Trophies. Dang. I'm not done very good drawing spells. <laughs> the only spell we've drawn was that one hero that we scried at the top. Oh no. Risen Reef has just hit a land every single time. Three trophies are gone. I think I actually just play Fable Passage. I don't shock. Our deck isn't always fair mid-range. You saw the last game. Citadel did some completely unfair things last game. Yes, I'd like to cast this card. Why, why are you going so crazy, deck? Stop. What are you? Why is why are you doing this, deck? <laughs> What's going on here? Why is it doing this? Seven. <clears throat> Going down to five. We don't always look like a fair deck. All right, good turn, good turn. Blew up both Field of the Deads.
I can activate Citadel to make them lose five life. I can do that. It's non-land permanent. No. So one, so that's six. No, it's not worth it. All right, well, I think I know my plan. Next turn, Tristani. Yeah, I don't I don't have any, I don't have other any other legendary cards in my graveyard besides the Citadel. As far as Kendence goes. So this they take ten. They chump block out. Cavalier eats something. Cavalier eats something, and then they chump block out, and they take 10. They may, may do some trading. So these two games, this is why we have Citadel in our deck. Just taking 13. Ooh, the double block. Double block on the legendary wolf. Nope. All right, double block hero. That's fine. So that's 14. That's them going down to one. Yeah, I, I'm really glad that they're not killing Kendis. They're killing Tulsimer instead. But yeah, I want, you know, like, Tulsimer being dead is, is good for me. It's good for my Kendis. Yeah, I used to play two Citadel in this deck before Garrick, but then I wanted to play a couple Garricks. But I had I had even more... Like, even a little bit more life gain stuff really built around Citadel a little more. <laughs> Sorry, Gendis. Keep your ear and cut this. It's close. I think, no, that's that's my client lagging. I'm pretty sure I reset a little while ago, but it doesn't hurt to reset again. Cause yeah, that was that was lagging there. So if you're watching on YouTube, just click that 30 second button, fast forward. And you get to travel to the future. So the Kethis Graveyard ability is you exile two legendaries and then you can cast other legendaries. I only then had two legendaries in my graveyard afterwards, the Citadel and the Tulsimer. So I could exile those to cast others, but there are no others, so it didn't so it wouldn't work. Cause you actually have to ha you have to get to Ethereal Absolution and play. But yeah, maybe maybe that's the thing. Maybe you're, we're supposed to just be playing four X Ethereal Absolution and hope you draw two and hope you get to play two. You got to turn one Arclight Phoenix against Simic Flash. That's how's that even possible? Turn one. <laughs> GG's paste. I got real lucky with those Citadels. 
Um, I guess I mole question mark. Pretty awkward mana. I think I can keep this one though. With having, all we need to do is draw one more land because this once upon a time, of course, is a land. We just need to draw a land, and then um, Kethis reduces the cost of Soren. Also, hey LB, what's up? Land? No. Land. All right, castle. All right, come on, deck, draw another land. So you had Once Upon a Time, and then Rose Thorn, Acolyte, and then Merchant. Allowed you to have turn one, Arc Light Phoenix. So you said it's a 5% chance of having Arc Light on turn one to have those cards. So do I go Kethis or... We're probably going to want that. Kethis or Mortify Knight. We'll go Kethis. I have two, two screens. I have one screen right there and one screen right there. I have the chats like on the far end of this other screen that's over there. And then there's the screen where Magic Online's at. I need white. Yeah, I don't I don't love the Ajani's for I think for a deck like this, I think you need to have a just a whole lot of um you just need like just a ton. of like creatures and stuff like yeah basically creatures and everything for the ajani's because if you know playing a Aj john the johnny's on empty battlefields is a little rough so whenever you gain life for the first time return deathless knight from your graveyard to your hand the skeleton just had a lot of boards like we're all have like the the green white ajani and like nothing else and it's just like, well, I'll tick up and gain three life, and then they're, like, attacking it. So basically took their turn by making that block. All right, good old Soren life gain. Um, you can't find a consistent deck. I don't 
I don't know. Um, I really liked Simic Ramp. Felt really good whenever we played that deck before. Um, I really liked the, the Mono Black Value we played earlier. I'd imagine that deck is pretty consistent. I'm not exactly sure, you know, like what your um, gauge is there. I guess this really isn't a good attack because they get to just gain two life back with Ryder having lifelink. Wow. That was not a block I was expecting at all. I was not expecting that at all. Um, For favorite best, best of one deck... I, again, I like we played Simic Ramp yesterday and it felt really good. And, and we talked about changing it to be Simic Wishes, like a Fey of Wishes deck. Don't you know how Questing Beast works? Blech. They double protected there. Um, but yeah, so I, I want to try the Simic Wishes deck. We're probably going to play that one tomorrow. I don't have the mana to draw that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do have the mana to draw that and then play it. Because of Kethys. Maneuvered. This castle's been nice. And of course, I don't really mind uh, don't that dying because of Kethys. Food. So yeah, they can gain life to return Deathless Knight if I kill Deathless Knight also. With that food. So what would be the ideal card to return? Do I want Vraska or Soren? I can do Vraska or Soren. Um, you know, Vraska can turn, like, these extra lands into more cards, can also turn, like, the the one ones over here into more cards. But I think I take Soren. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. That's a close one. Like, they're both pretty good. I like how Soren gets back Bellhaunt. He's putting pressure on him. Then if this Kethus dies, we can have Soren bring back Kethus. Also, and Soren keeps giving us more life, which is good for the Castle Luck Twain. Dun, dun. 
But yeah, we'll play we'll play the Simic Wishes deck tomorrow, the best that best of one deck, and try that out for the, like the event this weekend. Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't know why they're doing that right now, when they know I'm getting back Bell Hunt. I guess they don't realize that I'm getting back Bell Hunt. Should've got Frasca. Leecher, no reason to be rude. Sat back and had the beast lay eggs. Should have sat back and had the beast lay eggs. What does that mean? So it's our turn, our creature has lifelink, so we gain three from the Tulsimer trigger. But then also our creature has lifelink, so we actually gain six there. Oh, I should have I should have brought back hero first. I uh, missed out on a one one. I was too excited to do that and talk about that. Oh, Oh, we talk about the the opponent uh, with the the bird lay eggs. Gotcha. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was sorry. I was confused there. I was like, what? Um. Yeah, we can trade Kethis. Considering we can get back Kethis with Soren. No, the Yurok deck wasn't so bad. It was a lot better than Esper stacks. No, it was just three matches. We lost two of the three. One loss, we flooded out. One was a really bad matchup. The other one, we flooded out, and then I added Krasis to the deck. Um, afterwards, and then the deck played better after we added Krasis. All right, green, black creatures. Knight of Autumn at least does block Questing Beast, so it, it does do that. Does block Questing Beast. Do I take out Hero of Precinct 1?
All right, maybe I'll take out the Citadel against the aggro deck on the draw. Yeah, Krasis is too good. We really should have uh, had Krasis to begin with, but you know that's what that's what we do. We we practice and everything, and play some. You know, play some games, see what we need to update. Let's see. I mean, if they have a fast hand, I lose. But I like how we have really good mana. And we have the scry land to look for something else to do. Like, we should... I would think... I would think that we should find something to play by turn three before Soren with three draws in the scry. Awesome, Blowny Pony. Yeah, the black value deck went really well. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I guess they have turn two Rotting Regisaur. I guess that's a thing. So yeah, so never never mind. And also, I drew two lands and scried another land to the bottom. So we have nothing there. All right, well, at least when you're going to have a really bad hand, it's good to line up your really bad hand with your opponent's perfect hand. Like this is this is just their perfect chance. It's good to line that up. Like you're gonna take, you're probably taking a loss when they have a perfect hand, and you're definitely taking a loss when you have a really bad hand. So lining those two up together, that was just that was just good by us. We did we did really well there. All right, so I need this other trophy, and Golgari Queens back in here. I don't want Noxious Grasp nearly as much now. Tulsmer and Tristani look pretty small. I'm going to play two Veil of Summer. Two Oath of Kaya. And then I'm cutting either Tristani or Tulsimer. The Tristani. Hmm. No, I'll cut a Legion's End. See, now we have a much play, much more playable hand again. <clears throat> All right, Wanderer. Have a great night. I'll see you, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, Matu. Yeah, that's definitely an, an option playing in kind of all-in deck for grinding gold. Um, especially if you go best of one, uh, there's, you know, you can, you can definitely grind gold, like the best of one events. Um, again, if you check out the videos that we did two days ago, we got some good, you know, I, I played a bunch of like good aggro decks for best of one that you could play fast matches with grind a lot of gold. I really hope they don't play a 7-6. I don't really want a trophy next turn. I'd prefer to Othakaya next turn or Kethis. Yeah, I mean, I ha I do have a Ka I have a Kaya's Wrath in my deck right now.
there's just one in my deck though, but um, yeah, there is a Kai's Wrath. So we do we do have like the reset button there. Is there only just like three different colors of fox? Black, red, blue? They don't have like the five colors? Um. <clears throat> so I didn't get to kill Regisaur first. So they can play the Great Henge. I hope they don't have the Great Henge, but if they do, they get this thing back. But obviously I will I'll be trophying the Great Henge right away. I just hope they don't have it. That'd be nice. Let me untap and play a Golgari Queen. Alright, that's fine. So they, they will have to discard both of their cards. So maybe I just don't kill Regisaur this turn, make them discard both their cards. Then I'll just double chump, kill one next turn. If they attack, we get Othakai trigger. I, I could have sacked the Othakai, true, but I don't know. I guess I'm a sucker for gaining life. That thing will still be there to sacrifice later. Like drawing the card. Okay, I only have to chump block one of these now. No. That's all right. We trophy in it. Now the knight will just get discarded again to the other Regisaur. Well, since they got a swamp... If they want the goose to make a food, they have to make it right now. They don't get a block with the goose. Man. 
maybe I let them keep both Regisaurs again. So they have to discard two again. That was a clutch Veil of Summer. <laughs> that was clutch. Yeah, I don't have the chat for the YouTube vids. Um, I've, I've gotten more of the feedback of just of people liking the, the screen pretty clean and not filled with the chat. <laughs> Chump City population two. Okay. Good. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. They're down to four. I got this Doom Whisperer. Got all this other stuff. It's probably game. I'd be pretty surprised if this was not game. No blocks. No, no fear. No fear. All right, two and zero. Oh. All right, we we're back to the tier platinum tier one. All right, got rid of the. We canceled out the Esper stacks. So there we go. Let's see if we can win uh, three more. In a row. Yeah, the Kethis has been awesome. It's been been very good in the deck. From just the making things cost less is really nice, but then sometimes you get to replay something from your graveyard in a longer game. And nothing wrong with a three mana, three, four. Yeah, two Ds mean that it's a donation deck, so it's a viewer submitted deck. And R means that it's a ranked deck. That we're playing the deck in ranked. I was hoping I could got to play Bell Haunt there. I played like the temple, you know, looking for another white source. For Bell Hunt. This would have been a really nice time. Gain the life, it trades with Crusher. Oh. Well. 
I wasted that night of autumn. You should fear those born. We should probably bring it back. I demand servitude. Don't want to waste night of autumns. All right, so there's two lands over there for Cavalier of Flame. If it, if it dies, it'll do two damage to me and each Planeswalker I control. Um, not not really. Kethis isn't really replaceable with this deck. I mean, you can play Abzan mid-range without Kethis, but I think if, if you do that, then it's probably not worth playing Hero of Precinct 1, and that instead, um, just playing... Instead, just playing, like, a, a different... You know, just playing, like, another version of Abzan mid-range would be the way to go. One mana short for Tulsimer and Kethis. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? So we need to get back this Assassin's Trophy. I need to draw... Need to draw an untapped land. That's not a shock land. Need to draw like draw like a basic land. Ugh. I mean, I guess I can just play this and chump and then trade with Bone Crusher. Yeah, Kaya just isn't very impactful in tons of matchups. Uh, like there's there's a very very small amount of matchups where Kaya is impactful. I think that's the problem with Kaya. Hmm. So Kethis doesn't get anything back right now. So I can either play Kethis to chump.
Okay, I gotta get out of the way. I can't really see the screen. Yeah, I think if we're gonna just be chumping with something, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, like if we if we play the once upon a time, I could have like found a land and then played a land and then we could have chumped. Also there. But that's really risky. Here's a good draw. You, I know, I know I'm being mean, but you gotta move. Uh, probably not, John. Question was, do I think that Jeskai fires will be tier one? You know, later when the metagame settles and everything. Probably not. I'd we'll see how the deck does against um I'm not exactly sure how it does against like Field of the Dead. Alright, so we got three to spark, three trophy. Now bringing in all those. We got Mortify for enchantments, Night of Autumn for enchantments. Golgari Queen and Othakaya don't seem particularly useful. So let's go with this. <clears throat> yeah, th this deck's built around the blue and the red cavalier. And especially the red cavalier giving them haste. So if I shock on turn one to play duress, then I have to like shock again on turn two to play hero. And then not necessarily doing anything on turn three. I don't like just shocking all the time against like the red deck as we saw there. They're kind of burning us out. All right, they scry to the top. So I'm going to lead with hero, not duress. So I want to duress after next turn. They kept that card on top. I want to see what that was that they kept on top. Because, you know, it looked like Bone Crusher Giant was their removal spell. And I can't stop Bone Crusher Giant with duress. Huh. Well, Othakaya looks pretty good against Deputy Detention. Didn't really realize they'd have all those Deputy Detentions. get a black source out of the deck I don't necessarily really want to draw a land here so we'll fable passage right now doesn't look good Six cards over there. I would have mind drawing Bola Citadel. Be 
good card. That'd be a good card to draw. Yeah, to submit a donation deck, all you have to do is submit a link to the deck. If you don't know how to link a deck. Just kind of go. Just use a third-party site like like MTG Goldfish there, and I've got time. Ugh. And um, yeah, let me know like if, if you have a specific day or time slot that you'd like. Just let me know that in your message, and that's it. Here goes nothing. That's why I kind of hate trophy. The trophy, you know, earlier with the Cavalier, just let them get a land and then scry trophy. I mean, it's it's very versatile, but it does its job very poorly. And the the Tulsmer doesn't really look any better. They got us. My duress. Like, this game did not go very well for me. My duress whiffed. My hero and my Othakaya were taken up by the bone by one bone crusher giant, and then Teferi has drowned me. And the Cavaliers have drowned me. Cards not line up for me this time. All right, two and one. Trust me, I have a plan. So not bouncing the token because they got Clarion. Does that make sense? Why didn't they play the Bone Crusher Giant? After you know, after the Clarion, of course. Yeah, they could have just gone Clarion, play Bone Crusher, haste, haste, or like tick up, tick up. They would have dealt a lot more damage. All right, they figured it out. I've done the hero thing before. All right, two and one. Okay, come sit over on this side. <laughs> You're sitting right where I'm trying to look on the screen. Here, come sit over here. All right, two and one.
Hallowed Fountain. Maybe the same deck again? And keep the Doom Whisperer. Whisper and Citadel are a huge combo, of course. Um, I don't really want another four mana card, even though Brasco does kill Oko if they just play Oko. And I guess I'll feel a little bad, but we already got four drops here. All right, have a good night, Aduriel. <laughs> Sorry, LB. That, that'll happen. Um, I don't know exactly where the, the deck list for that for the Jeskai Cavalier deck is. I've seen it a couple of times, but I don't know exactly where the deck list is. Somebody in chat maybe has it. Uh, thanks, Ascoria. Glad to have you here learning and everything. I must go. All right, see ya. Where's our lands at? Let's draw one more land. We get to Doom Whisper and Citadel. Cool card. So if I fight the like, I think they're going to be adapting Incubation Druid here. That's that's my guess. And so I actually kind of want to just mortify the Incubation Druid. I could have Tulsimer fight Forest. Also, but the Incubation Druid is going to just do more damage, or it's going to sorry, it's going to add more mana. Get that out of there. Don't let them add three mana with that. They missed a land drop. Now they're down to four mana. Oh, that's rude. Now I can't cast Tulsimer. Teferi, not friend to wolves. Enemy of wolves. Um, it's best just to play this because if we draw one more land we get to play the citadel and citadel helps us hit more land drops and everything and get a bunch of spells and I've got it. everything's easier with citadel in play <laughs> it's a very enemy of gamers. Yeah, Teferi is definitely enemy of fun. I do not want to give them more lands. Speaking of lands, can I draw one? We really need one. I mean, I guess I'm probably going to have to go Hero Trophy Nissa. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Let's try this. This turn though, because we just got to get got to get Nissa out of there, unfortunately.
<sighs> Boo counter spells. I'll protect you. There you go. Thanks, Pemberton. Rise, my elemental friend. Hey, I finally got the land. It doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, they got all the counter spells also. So yeah, let's play all these Veil of Summers. Not only stop mass manipulation, but also counter spells. Hey, thanks, Feature. Thanks for that resub there. Oh, it says that's storm count 20. I was one behind. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right, Daft Mani. I mean, I I couldn't play Citadel then because they took the, cra the Kethys. So I, I didn't have the mana for Citadel. But yeah, we could have played like Doom Whisperer, I guess, and then try to hit... Tristani to get my creatures back, but we're in a world of trouble there. Still. Hmm. I guess if we're playing Veil of Summer and all these other spells kind of have to cut once upon a time. All right, let's try this. All right, well, we got three lands again. We had a lot of lands to begin with last time, too. We'll see if we get to hit the lands this time. Thanks, Phoenix. And this card's just perfect against Nyssa. But right now I want to try to hit land drops. Yeah, just want to try to hit land drops right now. Well, I'm glad we put it down to the bottom because there was another one. That would have felt bad to keep it on top and then draw another one. Ugh, why has it got to be Paradise Druid? And drew six drop. Where's our lands at? I don't know if we've drawn a land this match. You know, besides, you know, we drew that land when the game was over last time. The next sub battle stream is the is it's always the last Saturday of the month, so the last Saturday in October. Yeah, so that's when the sub battle stream is. It's always the last Saturday of the month. So 
So it looks like they're just holding up Frilled Mystic. Do I want to play Kethis and let them Frilled Mystic it, or do I just pass the turn? Can't we just draw lands? They could definitely block if they have just more lands in, in, in hand. They could definitely block. I've blocked many heroes with Paradise Druids before and been happy about it. True, I could have attacked first and then they don't have Frilled Mystic available. Yeah, might as well. Let's attack. So do they have mystical disputes then instead? Bleh. Such a bad counter spell. Three mana counter unless they pay three. I was not really expecting Ambush, or I wish I would have kept my Mortify. Can I just draw land, please? Do I need to? I guess I need another white source for castle. I will aid you. The land shall conquer you. Questing Beast also. Do not underestimate my fortitude. This is too little, too late for us, I think. 
Oh no, I don't really know how I'm winning this. Harness the elements. Couldn't get to playing my spells, had to waste some of these spells. I really wish we didn't play that Mortify earlier. I wish I didn't trade with this hero. Yeah, I wish I didn't attack with that hero. Oh well. Oh well. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have enough blockers now since I attacked with that hero. So Garrick could kill Questing Beast. I could go play Garrick, kill Questing Beast. But... Just taking lethal still, right? Yep. I could make... Man, I wish I could play that instant speed. I could make two two twos, but I'm still taking lethal. All right, so our huge mistake here was was attack was attacking with the hero. So that's that's where we really messed up. Um, if I keep keep that around, we get some extra one ones. They get to just they get to do some blocking for me, and who knows? Maybe with Kaya's wrath, probably not though. But maybe you know maybe who knows? Even if I can go like Garrick and start going going wide with more blockers. Have the Kethis chunk chump the questing beast for a turn. Maybe who knows? Maybe, maybe I could have won this. And this is a hell of a card though. And so is Questing Beast. Hits really hard. Oh well, yep, was a good go. Tried, but all right. Um, lesson learned, though. You know, like it's all it's good about learning. If if you uh, you know if we're learning this for later, like you know, if you're watching this later on and you, you know learn about the deck and everything, don't don't trade your hero off. Need need hero in play. Those one ones are really valuable. So good lesson. Especially, like, I, I went ahead and did it, hoping that they only had the Frilled Mystic. But they had the Mystical Dispute, so they still got to counter. So it's not like we took them out off of a counter, off of counter magic, so it was just a waste. Yeah, green, green's my favorite color in magic. In general. Um, they've made it really powerful here. Uh, I only played two games with Esper because I just hated the deck. I did not enjoy playing it at all, and so we we played four games and we got absolutely demolished all four games. And I did not want to play that deck anymore, so I stopped. All right, well that was a not a great once upon a time putting four spells to the bottom, but at least the land that we got was Fable Passage, so we can. We can reshuffle and put those cards back. Hmm. 
And that's what I'm going to do over playing the temple. Wow. I mean, they missed... I think they missed a land drop there. I think, but... That was an early concession. So I don't really know what their threats are all about here, the blue-black deck. Like, you know, I'm saying, like, if I want to spark or not. I'm not sure. We certainly want Vela Summer. But yeah, as far as, like, Dispark, Assassin's Trophy, Mortify, Othakaya, um, what I want to do with those, I don't know. We'll take out Legion's End. That's pretty easy, and I'm, I'm not sure if I want Ashiok. Yeah, they could be a lock monster deck, possible. They, that could just be Esper Stacks. Also, they just had Island, Island, Swamp, and that's why they just conceded. They had just a bunch of... That's probably it. That's probably a, a three-color deck. I'm going to sideboard like it's the Esper Stacks deck. Which, Dispark doesn't do anything there. I mean, I guess it stops Doom Foretold. It exiles Doom Foretold also. But that's it. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it could be a lock monster deck. Could be stacks. Not sure. <laughs> Wrinkle's pretty sweet. No, so Othakaya matches up very poorly against Questing Beast because Questing Beast just attacks the player and then also does damage to the planeswalker oath of kaya only triggers whenever you attack the planeswalker but you don't you don't need to attack the planeswalker with questing beast so oath of kaya doesn't affect questing beast at all now i cast the once upon a time i don't think my opponent cast a once upon a time that's unfortunate bola citadel there bola citadel is an amazing card but i don't think we can really keep it with just having three lands i would Love to have that card later, though. Maybe we'll draw the fetch land to be able to shuffle the library. Maybe I start Ashiok milling myself to get to the la the bottom card of my deck, a Citadel. <laughs> okay, probably don't want to do that. I need lands. So if we would have drawn it on top land, I was planning on playing hero, but since we didn't, I'll just wait till next turn. Oh, maybe my opponent did cast a Once Upon a Time last game. Okay. All right, Trevor. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I still have your link so I can update that. No problem. This is a Risen Reef deck, huh? Well, these Ashioks look pretty bad. Yep, Ashioks look pretty bad here. I guess if they go Cavalier Thorns, we can exile the graveyard so they don't get stuff back with Cavalier Thorns, I guess. They scryed to the bottom. If they would have scryed to the top, I would have had more incentive to Ashiok minus. Kethis is better mana-wise, but I kind of want to make them discard a card. But Kethis means we don't have to shock, and that also... Um, if we would draw a land, we'd be able to go Garrick the next turn. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it's true. They could have Fable Passage. We have Ashiok shut down Fable Passage. If we do draw a land next turn, though, we do get to go Kethys plus Ashiok. No matter what the land is. Mill over a bunch of spells. Bunch of good spells. Yeah, all those lands. Scry to the top. All right, come on, draw land. Draw land. No. So I don't get to cut this plus Ashiok. So I'll, I want to Ashiok though. We're gonna do that. I scry that card to the top. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, it's a Yurok. Wow, that's, that was a good four cards to get rid of. Got rid of Yurok, Field, Risen Reef, Noxious Grasp. That was pretty good. I can understand why... Oh, no. Well, that was... Are you kidding me? It was just double field on top? That was probably a, a top deck Yurok because it seemed like that's what they kept. Remember your nightmares. Seriously? Top deck Yurok hits two Field of the Deads? I don't have. I don't have any like Legion's End or anything in right now. Yeah, the trophy still gets two zombies. Don't kill Kethys. Yeah, I was definitely considering just going double trophy. Went with the Kethys here, though. Be able to have a blocker also. And then I could potentially go like Garrick plus trophy the next turn with the land. I'd say that was a pretty good turn for them. Man, what an insane turn of draw your you know, like they, they kept the card on top, it was your rock. Their next card was Yurok, and then two Risen Reef Triggers were both Field of the Deads. What an insane turn. All right, well, obviously, we need to completely change up our sideboarding. Maybe Ashiok isn't that bad, though. Still. I kind of liked Ashiok. Definitely want these Veil of Summers. I don't want Knight of Autumn anymore. 
I don't want Golgari Queen. Don't want Oath of Kaya. Yeah, Ashiok actually yeah, actually looked like a pretty good card. Do we need all three? Yeah, maybe we don't need Soren as much. <laughs> I know that's the the struggles with watching live, you don't get to rewind like on YouTube. <laughs> but you get the music though. This isn't my favorite hand. Ugh. Why do we always have to have Citadel early? <laughs> Wait until you try to go to 1.5 1. speed to speed it up. Opponent's playing slow. Hey, good brother. We're doing good. We're holding in there. We are at... Do I even play hero? Maybe I don't. We're at our... Hour nine of our 12 hour stream. We're going to midnight Eastern. It's 9.15. We're probably, well, we'll see. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll probably fit it. Our, our Civic ramp is probably gonna be a shorter league. I wonder what they were shocking in there for. Really considered casting Kaya's Wrath. Get an extra draw. I'm definitely going to Kaya's Wrath this next turn. Though. They get an extra card, but they also had to discard a card. So no harm, no foul there. Ugh. Why didn't I hold up Veil of Summer? I didn't think of Thought Erasure that they were going to be doing that. No. <laughs> Why didn't I hold up Veil of Summer? I didn't think of, I didn't think of Thought Erasure. They shocked again there. I think they have Murderous Rider. Oh no, what? I should just activate Castle and just untap and then go Hero to Spark. I know my, my Garrick's gone, and my Citadel. So now they're going to use Murderous Rider. Oh, another Noxious Grasp. Cool. It's not a bad trade for us.
I will take the land. And shuffle that Citadel back. You know, that Citadel is sitting as the last card of my library. How do we come back? Well, my opponent's not really doing anything. They just have all removal over there. Your rock. Your rock, no blocks. Save that. Ooh. Let's mill him out. Big. You. No, that was just a bunch of bad lands. Looks like they would have had Thought Erasure on top, but then three lands after that. Who's the Field of the Dead deck now? It's us. Just attacking us? So yeah, either could hold up Mortify <clears throat> or double block the rider. And I guess when we're playing, like, you know, Bolas' Citadel, having as much life as possible is valuable. I lost my A crazy game. They just had so much removal. Can we get a double scry? Can't blast zone away my tokens. I guess I should just mortify immediately. I kind of wanted them to attack in like this. But I guess I just gave them a, a turn to draw like Veil of Summer. But I was thinking that maybe if I don't... If I wait on mortify, maybe they... Don't attack in. No. I need Ashiok again. I guess I could get to just chump block that thing forever. Two, though. They're down to 26 cards.
How many Field of the Dead are gone? One. One in Exile. One in Graveyard. That's <laughs> true. I could have had the Devil's Cry if I wanted it. Stop drawing mythics. Yay! We drew an expensive card. The hunt begins. Hmm. Bad Cavalier, no. Oh my gosh. Is that the fourth one of those? Didn't I exile one? I did. Ooh. If I play this, I don't get a chump blocker. Well, Garrett can make chump blockers, so we, we good. Run or hide. Ooh, double trigger, gain that extra life. <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy match. Uh, they have 23 cards left in their library. No, the Ashiok. Ooh, got this. Okay, I'm down to nine. Fetch. Still a land there? Gross. They just didn't attack with the wolves. Or they didn't attack into the wolves. That's what I'm saying. We were born for the hunt. Alright, so we're going to exile the Kethis and the Garrick. And get Ashiok back. There are some things that so, yeah, we're going for the going for the mill plan. So they're down 19. I lost my Two Field of the Dead gone. All the rest of the Yurok's. No, the next card, Field of the Dead. Uh. <laughs> if we can exile the rest of their lands of course I do have the citadel activation of course for whenever we want that no opponent gives up we're gonna have some more fun though all right so that was a really cool match So with our deck, um, yeah, and I had the Legion's Ends for the 
for the land for the zombies anyway. I could Ulk Garrick that turn. I mean, if they blocked, right? I'd have to, or like, I'd have to attack and they'd have to block. Yeah, awesome game. We had a, we had a, we had a few awesome games with this deck there. It's almost fun to play. I think we had some good updates over last time. I think the, the cards that we kind of changed. I think trophy, trophies definitely helped. Uh, we had the against like the Field of the Deads. The trophy did not feel very good against the Cavalier deck that we lost to. Would have much rather had to Sparks, but we didn't draw too well there. Ashiox were great. And yeah, if there's more Field of the Dead running around having trophies in Ashiox, it's kind of what we want in the matchup there. Bell Hunt felt worse here than it has before, but it did still gain life with Citadel. Like that was that was pretty crucial. One of our Citadel games with Bell Hunt gaining life. Um, where like Seraph of the you know if we replace it with Seraph of the Scales, Seraph doesn't gain life for Citadel immediately. But yeah, another so those five long matches. This is just a really slow. <laughs> um, yeah, Ashiok was useful. Really slow standard format. It is. Um, but that was a fun fun deck. So that one, Rakdos Aggro, Mono Black Value, favorite decks of the day. Um, especially Mono Black Value. But Kethis was just awesome. Kethis, like, making the, the five and six mana cards cost less, being able to replay stuff sometimes, even though we don't have tons of legendaries. Still just awesome. Glad we went up to a third of those. Okay, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and please leave comments. If, you, if you're if you trying this deck out, last time we played this, I saw a lot of people trying this deck out. If you're one of those people trying the deck out, let me know how it's going for you. What do you, what cards, um, you know, are are uh, are you struggling against? What cards don't are not pulling their weight for you in the deck, kind of thing? And uh, you know, what are you doing really well? against all that kind of stuff do you like the um the newer mana base um and everything added in a black castle helped us with one of those games like should we be taking out once upon a time is there something better to play there in that slot um you know all that kind of stuff there um but that's uh so that's it so that's abzan hero so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video